As an HR pro, your culture guide plays a key role in helping your organization run smoothly. It goes beyond the scope of an employee handbook by covering company essentials, setting expectations, and guiding employees through many of the everyday processes they need to do their jobs. But even a great culture guide doesn't stay perfect forever. As policies and priorities evolve at your organization, your culture guide should evolve too. So in this episode of HR Party of One, we'll take a look at how to update your culture guide or employee handbook for the new year. We'll cover the thinking behind prioritizing culture guide updates and walk you through the most crucial ones to make now. By the end, you'll have everything you need to make sure your culture guide is in top shape for the new year. We'll discuss why you should update your culture guide every year and the top three culture guide updates to make in 2023, including goals and mission statements, compliance and policy changes, and practical updates to consider. Let's get started. Why you should update your culture guide every year. As an HR pro, you know better than anyone that your organization isn't a static entity. As teams grow and change and the world of work evolves, HR is uniquely positioned to keep the culture guide accurate and relevant for your organization. Some of your culture guide sections are unlikely to change, such as the company's history and long-term vision, but it's still a living document and keeping it correct and up-to-date is crucial for your organization's success. On a practical level, updating your culture guide can help your organization stay compliant with changing labor laws and regulations. Part of fostering a healthy workplace is ensuring your team members are operating in line with current employment laws and regulations. New federal and state policies often go into effect on January 1st, so updating the compliance sections in your culture guide right away is crucial. To avoid potentially harmful litigation, it's best to make sure all employees get up to speed on any changes you do make and document it when they are. At Bernie Portal, when substantial changes are made to our culture guide, we always have employees sign off digitally in the HRIS to acknowledge they received and review the updated policies. We recommend the same for your team. But these updates often go beyond compliance to address changes in company culture and in-house policies. Any inconsistencies between what the culture guide says and how the organization actually operates can cause confusion for employees and make it more difficult for managers to do their jobs well. For example, let's say your culture guide doesn't include a communication policy, but an employee has a habit of interrupting team members to chat while they're working and it's getting to the point where it's damaging their team's productivity. The manager gets frustrated with the whole team's performance and the team gets frustrated with the interrupting employee for seemingly getting them in trouble. Meanwhile, the interrupter was only intending to be friendly and doesn't know they've done anything wrong. Clearly, there's a disconnect here. The manager should have a conversation with this employee about respecting their teammates' time. But if the communication policy was clearly laid out in the culture guide, the whole situation could have been avoided. A well-written, comprehensive, and up-to-date culture guide can help save you, managers, and employees both time and confusion. Now, maybe you're thinking, but Elizabeth, my company's employee handbook doesn't have a place for a communication policy. It's just a book of compliance information. If that's the case, consider an even bigger update, transforming your employee handbook into a culture guide. Here at HR Party of One, we've created a two-part series on how to do just that. I'll put a link in the description. If your culture guide is already in place, there are three key updates you'll want to make to it this year. Let's look at each one. The top three culture guide updates to make in 2023. Number one, goals and mission statements. Your organization almost certainly has a mission statement and maybe your individual departments each have one as well. That's great. But if you don't have organizational and team mission statements in place, don't worry. Check out our episode on how to create effective ones. I'll link to it in the description. And you'll get a step-by-step -step guide to creating mission statements that work for your team. Just remember, while mission statements are important tools for guiding your business and your employees, they're not necessarily permanent and unchanging. 
So when you update your culture guide, it's vital to check that company and team mission statements still work. If your organization's direction has changed, or even if you just find your original goals were too vague, updating these statements can set your team up for success in the new year. You might also consider including each team's goals for the year in the culture guide. It's a great place to lay out what each department plans to accomplish this year, including what metrics they'll use to measure their success and, if applicable, how success will be linked to variable compensation. Including goals in your updated culture guide each year will give your employees easy access to the information they need to perform at their best. Number two, compliance and policy changes. Each year, you should check your culture guide to make sure its compliance information is up to date and accurate. But what does that include? Here's what we recommend all organizations include in their culture guides compliance sections. Key employment law policies. Company policies, including job classification, termination and resignation, PTO, leave, etc. Anti-discrimination and ADA compliance policies sexual harassment prevention and zero tolerance statement. Employee contact expectations, including behavior, dress code, device use, et cetera, and safety and security information, including OSHA reporting. In addition, there are several key changes to employment law that may affect your organization in 2023. In October 2022, the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission, or EEOC, published a revised mandatory workplace poster on workers' rights. You should make sure this updated poster is prominently displayed at your organization, and it's a good idea to include updated links to digital versions in your culture guide as well. The Speak Out Act will ban enforcement on pre-employment non-disclosure agreements for sexual misconduct in the workplace. If your culture guide or onboarding process includes this type of NDA, it's best to remove it now. And at least 13 states are increasing their minimum wage in 2023. If your culture guide includes compensation information, as it should, make sure this information is consistent with both the federal minimum wage of $7.25 an hour and the state minimums of any states your organization operates in. Bernie Portal has resources with more details on all three of these changes. I'll put links to all of them in the description. Number three, practical updates to consider. We can't tell you exactly what updates you'll make in this section since every organization is different, but there are some rules of thumb that can help you make a list of practical updates that make sense for your team. First, 2021 and 2022 saw record high inflation, and even though the economy is uncertain, you'll want to consider how these inflation rates have affected the market value of your payroll. Take some time to work with your organizational budget and figure out whether it's possible to adjust compensation rates for inflation in 2023. Fair pay is one of the best ways to attract and retain great talent. So a transparent and up-to-date compensation policy is likely to see a great ROI in the long run. Next, audit the everyday instructions in your culture guide for accuracy in the new year. For example, have you gotten new tech that requires different setup instructions? Has your communication software changed? Is the office contact list up to date? Has your building changed its entry key code? Ensuring these practical questions are answered in your culture guide will give employees the tools they need to do their jobs well without coming to HR for help setting up the printer again. A good tip to streamline this part of the process is to check in with managers who've recently trained new hires. These managers probably went through the culture guide's details with their new employees during onboarding. So if something in there is out of date, they probably noticed. The more eyes you can keep on the culture guide, the easier and faster the update process will be. In this episode, we've covered everything you need to know about auditing and updating your organization's culture guide. It's a great first step to set your organization up for success in the new year. Just remember, these compliance, culture, and practical issues don't end at the last page of your culture guide. They follow you through every part of your job as an HR pro. If you want to stay on top of key dates and deadlines this year, check out our 2023 HR calendar. 
It covers all the major compliance deadlines each month, so you can spend less time tracking paperwork and more time on the strategic parts of your job. And if you're ready for a deeper dive into strategic HR in 2023, check out our Bernie U HR prep course for the year. It's totally free and it's pre-approved for both SHRM and HRCI recertification credits. So you can advance your career while adding value to your organization. I'll link to both of these great resources in the description. As always, remember that your role is as strategic as you make it. Well, that's all the time for this episode. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notifications about the latest HR Party of One updates and new episodes. Also join our HR Party of One group on LinkedIn.